Watch you guys got another video here for you on Windows commands every Windows user should know. Now these are Windows commands that really are still usable today in 2020, but most people are probably not going to be using them because of the right click context menu on the start button and a bunch of other things that you can do in Windows 10. So here is the run box. Now many years ago a lot of people used to use run commands to make it a lot quicker to get access to certain areas of the computer they want to access and today is no different it's still very quick to type in something here and go to it like gpedit.msc from the run box and this will open up the group policy editor now you will need to obviously have windows 10 pro or above to access the group policy editor but it is a very powerful feature inside windows and it's a great way of controlling what's going on inside your computer so you can see here we've got windows components here we can control we've also got loads of other features on the operating system that we can control from here user configuration and also computer configuration you've seen me use uh, group policy many many times it's a great way of blocking things that you don't want uh, to have features that you don't want running and stuff like that there's also security features in here, loads of other features that you can use with the Group Policy Editor. So that's basically how you can get to the Group Policy Editor inside the run box. Let's do some other ones which may be useful uh, to you uh, by using the actual commands here. Now there is a variety of different commands that you can use. So let's go on to the next one here. This one is NetPLWiz and uh, we're gonna push enter here or OK, whatever you want to do, and it will open up this box here. Once we get this box open, it will give you access to your user accounts. You can change all of the user accounts here, add user accounts. You can uh, change passwords. You can do quite a lot from this area. It's just quick and easy to get access to this area by typing that command inside uh, the run box. Very simple and easy to do here. So we've got your group membership here, you can standard user, other and administrator, and you can basically set it up how you like. There's also an advanced area here which allows you to secure your sign-ins, also advanced user management, and also we've got management of passwords. You can do your credential manager from here, which is your web credentials and stuff like that. So let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to go back down here to the run box here, open this up. And we're going to be typing in here wf.msc. Once you do this, this will open up your Windows firewall panel and you'll be able to access your Windows firewall from here. Now, what this is going to do is allow you to control all of your firewall settings, whether it be inbound rules, outbound rules, and other connection and security rules, and monitoring and everything from the Windows firewall. And you get much more better control from here. If you want to control certain uh, programs or services, you can go in here and you can do the uh, ports and protocols. You can change just about everything about that service that's trying to access the internet and things like that inside here. Programs also can be controlled from here. Just about anything that goes in and out of your computer can be controlled inside the Windows firewall. So it's an essential bit of kit if you use Windows firewall and that command will get you access to it very, very quickly. Let's move on to another one here. So go back down to the run box here and we're going to type in here ncpa.cpl. Push OK and this will open up your network connections panel where you'll be able to do access to all your network connections, whether it be Wi-Fi, Ethernet or virtual machine connections, Bluetooth connections. You can access them all here. Then you can just double click on these and you can go into properties and get access to your uh, internet protocols from here so if you want to click on the internet protocol version 4 and you can do all your IP and your DNS and all that sort of stuff from here as well so very simple and easy to do uh, from this location now there is other ways to get to this location but I do find that the uh, run commands are still very very quick and it can speed up productivity and get you to do more work during the day if you start learning uh, commands so let's move on to the next one here. So we're going to go down and type app whiz and then dot cpl and then click OK. And this will take you to your programs and features panel. This is going to allow you to 
uninstall programs from here or go on to turn windows features on or off and you can do bunches of other stuff from here as well so if you see a program that you want to remove you can just click on it and uninstall it now of course you can go to control panel and then programs and features and go all down that route but of course that's many many clicks whereas you can just type that into the run box and get there straight away very simple and easy to do so let's move on to another uh, feature here which we can get to by typing in a command so we're going to go down to the run box again and we're going to type inside here inetcpl.cpl and then click OK and this will open up the internet properties box which is very useful to get access to your internet properties now you can get access to your browsing history here you can delete it and mess around with some of the settings if you want to get access to that this is the command that you would type in so you've got your settings panel here you've also got your appearance your languages your fonts and all this sort of good stuff here you can change a bunch of settings inside here for your temporary internet files and also your disk base size here move folder view objects and view files your cache and databases and also your history can be accessed from here you can change the days to keep your pages of history inside there as well so this is the old school way of using windows if you would have been using earlier versions of windows you would have seen these uh, locations like clear ssl state and certificates and publishers and you still get access from this from windows 10 it's still useful and it's still very useful to know these commands because it gets you there very very quickly so let's move on to another uh, command which we can use here so i'm going to open up uh, the run box here and let's type this in so we're going to go control here now control was another command that you can use with other words as well i'll show you those in a second but if you just type control it just gives you the control panel so but just by typing control instead of control panel sometimes you'll see me just type control inside the search box and that's because i'm used to using the control command which will give you like control printers control folders and things like that so let's go ahead and try another thing so if you put control printers inside here and open this up it opens up the control printers panel so this is your devices and printers panel so by using that word control you can just put control printers control folders or whatever it is you want to do now remember that if you just put printers in there it's not going to go to this location here you need to put that control in front of it so you can see you've got access to all your settings here, your sound settings, Bluetooth, system settings, all your other stuff inside there. Very quick and easy to learn that control um, command there. And there's a bunch of them there. So I will cover these in other videos. If you want to see some more of these, I can always do this. So let's do one more control folders. When you click on this, this will take you to your folders area here. So rather than going all the way through that location to get to the file, explorer options you can just type in control folders and away you would go you would get your access to this area here which is a common place what we go to quite a lot so using that command will speed things up and help you uh, get to this location a lot quicker now, of course if you're doing this for a living and you're doing it all day every day learning these commands are essential because it just speeds up productivity and you get a lot more work done so there we go let's move on to another one here so going to go down to the run box here again and we're going to type in here winver this is the windows version that you will be using on this computer it just brings up a little box here and tells you the windows version that you're using so if you're not familiar with this sort of thing you can quickly type that up and get someone to tell you what windows version you are running it'll give you a bunch of information on there about the windows 10 version so it's always useful to know so let's move on to another one here we're going to type comp mgmt dot msc and then click OK and this will open up your management panel here now from the computer management panel you can do quite a bit you can get access to your system tools your task scheduler and also event viewer shared folders local users and groups performance and also your device manager and disk management and services and applications so this is how you would get access to that you can also access from the right click context menu here and this is a new feature in windows 10 which has made it a lot easier to get to these locations so if you want to get to disk management or computer management or command prompt or so on you can do it from these uh, right click on the start button so this is the new feature or the new way of getting to these these locations 
not all of them, but some of these locations. So it does speed things up a little bit. So when you're typing it out, you can right click on there and quickly access those areas very quickly. But it won't give you all of the areas. Just remember that. So next up, let's do another one here. We're going to go back down to the run box here and type in another command. So we're going to go in here and type MSTSC and then we're going to click OK. And this will open up the remote desktop connection. This is if you want to do remote desktop connections via this computer to another computer. And you can see here we have general display and local resources, experience and advanced. Again, if you've never used this before, you probably won't even know it's on there. And if you do, most people disable this because they have no use for it and they won't use it. They'll go and use something like TeamViewer or something like that. But people still use this in 2020. So if you do want to use it and get access to it, you can uh, still use that command to get this panel open and this will give you access to it very quickly as you can see here. Okay, so let's give you a couple of more common ones because these ones are used quite a bit and I just wanted to add these in just in case someone is not familiar with them but everyone should be familiar with these because these are your most common ones that you're going to be using like reg edit and also um, MS config. So let's go ahead and do the reg edit inside the run box and this will open up the registry editor. It's put it on my other monitor screen here. But as you can see here, it opens up the registry editor. Very simple and easy to do. You can do that from the search box as well. You don't have to go into run box to do that. But if you did want to get it from there, you can do. And also MS config is another one which is used by some people uh, to get access to those areas. Again, you don't always have to go into these locations but they're nice to know just in case you do need to use that feature okay so let's wrap this up a little bit we've got a couple of more here and then i'm going to end the video so we're going to go into this one here which is your services.msc and uh, this will open up your services and uh, you can also type in uh, services inside your search box. There's a bunch of different ways to get into all of these locations. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. So basically, Windows gives you multiple options to get to all of these locations, uh, whether it be by the menu, by a certain way through the menu system, or you can do commands to get to the same location. And some commands have uh, different types of commands that do the same thing. Okay, so let's uh, do a couple of more here because the time is getting on and people do moan about the link for the video. So we're going to go to control mouse this time and type control mouse. And this will open up your mouse panel, which allows you to make changes to your mouse settings. Now you may be thinking, why do I need to go in here? I've never been in here, but if you're a gamer, you would have been going in here quite a lot because you'll be taking off the enhanced pointer position here, which is a uh, basically going to cause problems with your aim and you want to turn that off and there's a bunch of other settings you can do for your mouse which is like mouse fixes and stuff for gamers so if you are a gamer then those uh, features are useful now you can go into mouse uh, settings inside the search box here and it will take you to this pane which will allow you to get access to your mouse they're trying to move you forward to the modern day GUI interface but you can still get access to the old GUI uh, by typing on the additional mouse options on the right hand side there but you have to do a couple of extra steps to get to that same location so let's move on to this next one here we're going to go into the run box and type control and then we're going to do hdwwiz.cpl and then click ok and this will open up this box here which is your device manager now you don't have to always put the control in sometimes you can get away with just typing in the shorter word which will be hdwwiz.cpl so you have to be sort of careful because you can make it shorter and make it quicker to type out and get those uh, commands so they do the same thing but you just have to know which ones you can do it for and which ones you can't so let me just give you another example here inside the run box if I type printers uh, and try to push enter you'd you might be thinking that you'll be able to get to the printers area but you won't you'll get an error message you have to put control printers in to get to printers okay otherwise you won't be able to access that area okay another one we've got is control fonts now this will take you to the fonts area where you can look at all the fonts you have on the computer now many moons ago you would get malware also residing in these places as well and you could move it out and get rid of them uh, in the earlier days but you don't really sort of see that sort of stuff much nowadays but Again, it will give you access to the fonts area if you want to remove fonts from your system. Now, I'm not going to cover all of these next um, 
commands because there's a bunch of them here now this is the shell colon startup and this will take you to the startup folder by using the shell command and these are useful as well so if you want to see a video on that then let me know in the comments section but you can see here we've got access to the startup folder here where we can uh, do whatever we need to do there if you want to add programs in there you can do delete them you can do as well so let's take a look at another one here which is user account control settings now that's quite a big command to type out and I wouldn't recommend you use this one because obviously it's quite a long one and you could probably get there a lot quicker which you can and I'll show you this is the user account control uh, panel box here which will give you access to here now you might not need to go into here too much but if you do you can just type UAC inside the search box instead and this will give you uh, the change user account control settings panel and then I need to open that up and it will give you the same uh, quick uh, access to it by just typing UAC inside there. So let's take a look at another one here. We've got sysdm.cpl and you can click OK and this will give you access to this panel here and this gives you access to your system properties panel which gives you access to your computer name, your hardware, advanced system protection and also your remote and you'll probably be going in here quite a bit. Now to be the longer command for this would be uh, system uh, properties and advanced that's what you'd be typing inside this box here to get to the same uh, command so by, rather than typing that big long command you can type the one that I showed you and it gets you to the same place okay now I'm pretty sure that these commands will come in handy for people that want to learn commands and learn how Windows works and these are Windows commands every Windows user should know I'm pretty sure people are going to complain about the length of the video. It'd be too long or it's too short. You're not explaining enough or you're explaining too much. It They just never stop. You can't please everyone. But anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments section if you want to see more of these and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.